I am starting my training for my first ever 100 mile run, but probably not in the way that you're thinking. On September 30th of this year, 2023, I'm going to be running my first ever backyard ultra marathon, or what's also known as a last man standing ultra. Here's what it is. This style of ultra marathon was created by Lazarus Lake, who's probably best known for organizing and creating the Barkley Marathons, one of the toughest ultra marathons in the entire world. The format of these races are quite simple and straightforward. Run a 4.167 mile loop at the top of the hour. If you finish in under an hour, congratulations, you qualify to start the loop again at the top of the next hour. Run the same 4.167 mile loop over and over and under an hour and you keep qualifying to start the race again at the top of the next hour until there's only one person left. When there is one person left, they have to run one single 4.167 mile loop by themselves. And if they can't successfully do that in under an hour, they are declared the winner. The format of these races are awesome in my opinion. Obviously you don't have to be the fastest guy out there, but you do have to have a ton of willpower, a bunch of endurance, grit, heart, and be able to perform through the night with very little sleep. The exact race I'll be running is known as Babbitt's Backyard Ultra Marathon in one of my favorite cities in the entire world, Flagstaff, Arizona. Obviously, we have a lot of training to do, long, slow miles on the dirt and in the hills for sure. We're gonna be at Flagstaff, Arizona for this race, so at high elevation as well, so that'll be an added challenge. And this loop is not super flat, around 150 feet or so for every 4.167 mile loop, so nothing too crazy, but also not the easiest loop ever. There are two goals I have for this race, plain and simple. First and foremost, goal number A is to run at least for a day straight, 24 hours, 24 laps, which would put me exactly at 100 miles, which is the goal I would really like to hit. Goal number two, also very simple and straightforward. The S tier goal is to, of course, win this race. Last year, only 33 people competed in the race and the winner ran a total of 30 laps. So a lot of miles over 30 hours. So basically no sleep for over a day straight running the same exact loop hour after hour. It's going to take a lot of grit. It's going to take a lot of heart, but I'm ready to be challenged and you know, this is the stuff I love. It's gonna be a very low key and intimate race. Like I said, only 33 entrants total last year. By far and away, this is gonna be the smallest race I have ever done. Of course, if you're excluding those beer miles we used to do in the middle of the night at our local elementary school track in college. Wow, dude. 842. 842, dude. Yeah, <laughs> but he makes it. We have a lot of work to do, a lot of fitness to gain, and really not much to lose. This is the kind of stuff that I live for, pushing my limits and seeing what I am capable of. Hope you're ready to follow along on the journey. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness. Peace.